you are God's creature designed for glory you are not designed for shame returning back in Jesus name I rebuke the devil God is a God of mercy when you understand that God is a God of mercy you are a creature of intention God created you intentionally get set for a moment of empowerment with your host Benjamin this is Benjamin Beckley. Beckley of the Empowerment Center here in Arlington Texas USA I especially welcome you to Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. Thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast today. I appreciate you. Thank you for your time and to everyone that has been praying for us, calling us and sending us mails. The Lord bless you. All of these are highly appreciated and they are valued. We are praying for you and we believe God so strongly that God is answering our prayers. Now, if you need prayers, just call the number that is on the screen. We are passionate about praying for you. We are here to be a blessing to you. Just call the number on the screen and we surely will be praying for you in the precious name of Jesus. And I can tell you something, situation will not remain the same for you again. In Jesus name now to all our TV partners and everyone that has been supporting this broadcast I really want to appreciate you now through your generous donations and support we have been able to reach out to thousands and thousands of souls all over the nations of the world you know God has been so wonderful using this broadcast to be a blessing to numerous souls all over the continent. I really value your donation and your support, and I really believe, God, that great harvest is your portion in the precious name of Jesus. Now, if the Lord is leading you to support this program or support this broadcast or to make any donation, free will donation from your heart, you are highly welcome. You know, you can go to the website on the screen, and you'll find a donation button there, you can make a donation there. Or if you desire to send in or mail in a check, the address is on the screen. You can mail in a check if you want to be part of RTV Partners. You can also call the number to request for more information. Now I tell you something, everyone that is a partaker of reaching out to souls all over the world, will never miss out of divine reward and your reward will no longer be delayed in the precious name of jesus all right glory be to god now, i'm excited because it is thanksgiving season you know is the season of the year where family gathers together you know to appreciate each other is a time where people express love and uh, appreciation to one another you know here in the united states is a time that is set aside just to be grateful you know to be grateful for the things you've experienced the things you've enjoyed and also to be grateful for the preservation that god has given unto us you know not everyone that desires to leave is still living some people desire to leave but they are no longer available you know so every day is thanksgiving but here, there are certain season or time that is set aside just to collectively give thanks. Now, this season is not just about um, eating turkey. It's not just about gathering together. It's not just about the games. It's more than that because without God, there won't be any of this thing in existence. You know, God is the source of all things. And part of what I really desire that you use this season to do is to express gratitude to God. It is a season not just to eat and dine and wine. It is also a time to express gratitude to God. And in case someone is watching me and you are saying, what is it to thank God for? I've been praying all year long and it's like the prayer is not coming to pass. I've, I've been believing God for a miracle, I've been believing God for a breakthrough, and the breakthrough is not forthcoming, or you are saying that things are not just working for you, why should I be grateful? Then I have a news for you and I have an answer for you. 
And that's what I'm going to be teaching today. It is profitable to be grateful. You want to say that with me? It is profitable to be grateful. When you are grateful, it is profitable. There is profit in being grateful. You see, in life, gratitude never diminishes. In other words, gratitude does not lessen you. Gratitude rather increases you. Gratitude rather add value to you. When you are grateful, it positions you for higher altitude in life. You know, the art of gratitude positions you for higher altitudes in life. Gratitude does not bring down. Gratitude does not lessen. Rather, it adds value. It lifts up. It repositions you for greater height. Now, let me share a scripture with you. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 to verse 19. You know, this is a, a scriptural revelation of a prophet or a situation where people found themselves that things are not just working. Everything was upside down. But yet, they resolved to be grateful and you'll see what God did for them and what God did through them. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. The Bible says, although the fig tree shall not blossom. In other words, what ought to work is not working. Even if there is no fruit in the vine, the labor of the olive fail. The field yields no meat. Things are just not working. There is no result. There is no profit. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no heart in the stalls. Now look at verse 18. The, verse 17 was the situation on ground. Things were not working. But look at verse 18. What did they resolve? What did the prophet resolve to do? Verse 18, he said, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. You know what that means? In other words, even when things are not working, I will not allow the fact that things are not working to deny me of what is available in God. Even though I just lost my job, even if I, I, I've just been hospitalized, I've been afflicted, the prophet said, things were not working, but yet is a decision, I will rejoice in the Lord. That means I will be grateful. I will yet be grateful even where everything is falling down. Now look at what God will do. Verse 19, the Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like Eve's feet and it will make me to walk upon my high places. So in other words, when you choose to be grateful, gratitude repositions you. When things are not working, choose to be grateful. When things are working, choose to be grateful. As a matter of fact, I've realized that gratitude, thanksgiving, appreciation is a choice. It is a decision. Wishing is not enough. It is something that you need to to act upon. So at such a time as this, maybe things are not working as you desire. We just saw a scriptural revelation of what was going on in the life of this man of God, but he chose to give God honor. And when you honor God, you cannot live in dishonor. I'll say that again. When you honor God, you cannot live your life in dishonor. Because God promised that those that honors him, he will honor. So when you choose to be grateful, you are honoring God. So as part of what you do in this season, don't be carried away by the waves of what is working and what is not working. But be devoted and committed to being grateful because it is profitable to be grateful. From the text we read just now, you realize that when gratitude becomes your habit, soaring at a higher altitude becomes your lifestyle. 
when, when gratitude, the attitude of gratitude, when you are committed to being grateful, you cannot remain in the low place of life. So when gratitude becomes your attitude or it becomes your habit, it is certain in life that swearing higher and higher altitude becomes your lifestyle. I'm going to be sharing some things with you today on what are the profits that you can connect with when you are grateful. Remember, it is Thanksgiving season, and I'm showing you from Scripture why you should be grateful and what are the benefits that you can connect with when you are thankful. Once I'm back from this break, I will take you further and deeper into the profits that are available in being grateful. World Revival Outreach Mission, the Empowerment Center, is a non-denominational, multicultural church fully committed to empowering lives for destiny fulfillment. We are a community full of energy, faith, and most importantly, people who want to serve God and one another. We're dedicated to being a place where you can believe, belong, and become all that God intends you to be. The Empowerment Center is committed to being a loving, healing fellowship where you can discover the abundance of life in Jesus Christ. Newcomers are extended a most cordial invitation to come and join us for an anointed, powerful, and uplifting worship of God. For more information, give us a call today. Welcome back to Moments of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. And I am still your host, Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center here in Arlington, Texas, USA. Now, I would like to invite you to the Empowerment Center. Um, the Empowerment Center is a non-denominational, multicultural, world-based church of God. It is always referred to as the church with a difference. It's a place where you encounter the person of God, you experience the presence of God, and you enjoy the power of God. I tell you something, it is a place to be. And this Sunday, we are having a special, wonderful section of thanksgiving just to give God the glory because he deserves all the praise. Now, the service schedule is right on the screen. You can be part of any of our life-transforming services. All our services are life-enhancing. On Sundays, we meet 10 a.m. to 12 noon. And on Thursdays, we meet 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. All our services will be a great blessing to you. Now, in case you are watching me outside of DFW, that is the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, you are not in Texas or you are not in our area. You can watch our services live on our television platform. We are privileged to have an online television platform where all our services are streamed live. And the information is on the screen. It is called Empowerment Television Network. And you can also listen to our services live on our 24 hours radio. We have a radio that is dedicated to broadcasting prayer and life transforming messages. The information is on the screen. Just write down the, write down the name, write down the link. And the address to the church is on the screen as well. I look forward to receiving you this Sunday on Thursday. And if you have any friend, any relative, any loved one here in Dallas, in Arlington, anywhere around Texas, tell them about the Empowerment Center. I tell you something, it is a place to be because you surely will encounter God at the Empowerment Center. I look forward to receiving you. All right. Now, let's continue as we keep looking at this. It is profitable to be grateful. I've shared with you right before the break that when you are grateful, regardless of circumstances, you position yourself for higher altitude. Gratitude positions you for higher altitudes. So you don't allow the circumstances, the situation, or the negativity of the atmosphere to hinder you or to shut you down from enjoying the profit that is available in being grateful. I'd like you to understand that when we talk about gratitude or thanksgiving, it is actually the expression of value, the expression of worth, 
the expression of appreciation for what has been enjoyed or what has been experienced. So when you are grateful, you are simply expressing value that I've enjoyed this or I have experienced this and I'm thankful for it. At another time also, appreciation or thanksgiving can be in anticipation of God's divine provision. Like when Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus, he thanked God I had in anticipation for what God can do. So thanksgiving is not just about thanking God for what he has done, but also thanking God for what he has the capacity to do or what he has promised to do. So you must understand that it is highly profitable to be grateful. It is highly profitable to be grateful. And the appreciation that will be acceptable to God must be the one that is flowing from the heart. Now, in Psalm 107, verse 8 and verse 9, the Bible says, Oh, that men will praise the Lord for his goodness, for his wonderful works to the children of men, for he satisfies the longing soul and fill the hungry soul with goodness. You know, so in all dimensions, you have enjoyed the goodness of God. That's one of the many reasons why you should be grateful. That is one of the many reasons why you should be thankful. All right, now let me share with you some of the profits that are available or the benefits of thanksgiving or what we can call the profits that you can connect with when you are grateful. Now, if you have a Bible, open with me to Psalm 67. Let me read this text to you and we flow from there. Psalm 67, verse 3 to 7. Psalm 67, verse 3 down to verse 7. Now, the Bible says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Verse 5. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Verse 6 said, Then shall the earth yield an increase. So when the people praises God, the earth shall yield increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Verse 7, God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. So from this scripture, you can understand that it is profitable to be grateful. When all the people praise God, and all the nation praise God, the Bible says God will bless us. Even our own God will bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. That's what I call fearful blessing. Blessing that is beyond human comprehension. The order of blessing that no man can stop. So there are blessings loaded in being grateful. Number one, what benefits do you connect with when you are thankful, when you are grateful? I'd like you to understand that gratitude steers up supernatural increase and multiplication. Gratitude steers up supernatural increase and multiplication. Listen to this one. A grateful heart will always enjoy a great flow of blessing on the earth. I'll say that again. A grateful heart will always enjoy a great flow of God's blessings on the earth. You see, the earth is loaded with blessings, is loaded with increase, it's loaded with profitings. But from the text we read in Psalm 67, the earth will not yield this increase until gratitude and thanksgiving flows from the earth and the heart of man unto God. So, therefore, gratitude is a provision of heaven for steering up increase 
and multiplication on the earth. And, you know, when you go through scriptures further, you will see from scriptures to scriptures how the instrument or the provision of gratitude had brought up multiplication. Now, let me share two instances with you, and this has to do with Jesus. You know, Jesus found himself in two circumstances where he had to feed people. Number one, there was a condition where he had to feed 5,000 people. And all they had were, were five loaves of bread and two fishes. Now, in John chapter 6, from verse 1 to verse, uh, uh, verse 1 to 13, you know, Jesus had a situation where he had 5,000 men without counting the women and without counting the children. And of course, you know that the women and the children will be more than the men. So let's, let's just say uh, more than 5,000, of course, more than 5,000, almost 10,000 people. But now, what they had was five loaves of bread and two fishes. And Jesus, the Bible says in verse 6 of John chapter 6, that he himself knows what to do. So, when he had a situation where five loaves of bread, no matter how you do it, cannot feed 5,000 people. No matter how you do it, no matter how you work on it, no matter how you cut it, cannot feed 5,000 people. But look at what Jesus did. The Bible says in verse 11, John chapter 6, and Jesus took the loaves of bread, and when he had given thanks, so all he did was to thank God that at least we have five loaves of bread. And the Bible says he distributed it to the disciples, and the disciples gave to all the people, and all of them ate to their satisfaction. At the end of the day, they had 12 extra baskets that they had to go home with. What a great God. All because he gave thanks. Now, gratitude tears up release of increase on the earth. The same thing happened in Mark chapter 8, verse 1 to 9. Mark chapter 8, verse 1 to 9. And this time around, the Bible recorded that he had 4,000 people to feed. And these people had been with him for three days. I mean, for three days, they were listening to the word of God. Fasting, nothing to eat. Now, at the end of the third day, Jesus just decided that these people will faint if I had to send them back home. But what do we have? And all they had were seven loaves of bread. And the Bible says few fishes. So there is no way again seven loaves of bread will feed 4,000 people. But you know what Jesus did? The Bible says, and Jesus told them to bring it. And you know what he did? He gave thanks. In Mark chapter 8, verse 6, let me read that text for you. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. That is talking about order. Now, and he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and break it and gave to the disciples to set before them. And they set before them and all of them eat. Verse 8, they eat, they were filled, and they even took seven baskets extra. Oh, you know, this is not just a magic. It is a divine miracle by the mystery of thanksgiving. Jesus gave thanks. Heaven opened up. Earth multiplied. Supernatural increase. I know this season as you make up your mind to be grateful to God, increase comes your way. What you have that is little, God will multiply it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, number two, what can you connect with when you are grateful, thanksgiving gives you access to the presence of God. Gratitude open up access to the presence of God. Thanksgiving is a gate opener. Thanksgiving is an access giver. You know, even on the earth, I've realized that when somebody is good to you and you are not grateful to that person, the, the door of those goodness is, will be shut down. But when somebody is good to you and you return with the art of appreciation, you open more doors. You open the door wider and wider. Even some of us as parents, when you give things to your children, if they don't say thank you, you tell them to say thank you. Why? Because it, it, it is profitable. It opens up more doors. Now, what thanksgiving and gratitude does, as far as God is concerned, is that it opens up access. The Bible speaking in Psalm 100, 
from verse 1 to 5. Psalm 100, verse 1 to 5. The Bible says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Now look at verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praises. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Enter into his gates. The gates are in plural. So every of God's gates are openable by thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and gratitude brings the presence of God down. Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. You know, thanksgiving opens up access in the presence of God. And you know what? When you can access the presence of God, you can enjoy the fullness of God. You can enjoy the fullness of God. There are so many things you connect with via thanksgiving. Thanksgiving open closed doors. Thanksgiving preserves the blessing. Thanksgiving gives you access to reserved blessings. You know, in, in Luke 19, from verse 11 to 19, J Jesus was passing through and 10 lepers came to him asking that they be cleansed. And Jesus told them to go and show themselves to the priest. And suddenly as they were going, they, they were cleansed. But one of them realized that he had been cleansed. And you know what he did? He returned back to Jesus and the Bible says, with a loud voice, he glorified God. And look at what Jesus said. Jesus said in verse 17, Were there not ten cleansed, but where are the other nine? So to me, Jesus was expecting them to return with gratitudes. With gratitudes. He knew the number of people he touched. He knew the number of, person, the, the number of people that did not come back. I don't know if you are watching me today, and you are probably part of the nine that has not returned with the art of appreciation. I'd like you to do a personal reflection of what God had done for you this year. What God had delivered you from this year. The goodness of God and the favor of God that you have enjoyed. And I want you to make a decision to be grateful. Even in this season of gratitude, make a call to someone that has added value to you. Create time to just thank God for life. You know, Thank God for people that he brought your way. Send a message of appreciation to somebody that God has used for you. And I tell you something, as you express gratitude, you are opening up more door. I pray for you today as I round up this broadcast, the hand of God be upon you, the blessings of God rest upon you, in the name of Jesus. Enjoy your Thanksgiving season, and I'm saying to you also, thank you for watching this broadcast week by week, day by day. The Lord bless you. Till I come your way again next week on this same station, stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless us. you. Watch us every week at the same time for your moment of empowerment. Visit us online at wordrevival.org or call us at 972-639-1762.